Palm Z22, their cheapest palm handheld device and the ones that we purchased for our school, very good for education. Just pulled out the stylus and um, here you see the home screen, all the different programs are displayed and you can cycle through the different categories. Down the bottom there is uh, various buttons there for helping with the navigation of the device and moving around the different programs and screens. Uh, the first one I'm going to open is the game, which is of course the one the students always go to first. It's uh, actually not bad initially for letting them have practice just with using the stylus and getting accurate with using it. Sometimes I um, just let them play to figure this out without actually telling them the basis of the game, just to see if they can work it out. It's a good little puzzle exercise and, like I said, gets them used to using the stylus and um, being familiar with holding the palm correctly in their hands button gets us back to the home screen and uh, we're now going to look here where the kids can just start writing with the device you can write directly on the screen in the memo here you also see at various times the dark area down the bottom of the palm that's the graffiti writing area where students can write directly on there as well now going back to the home screen again use the notepad program for writing short amounts of text and um, the kids also get the chance to use the on-screen keyboard this is basically how it works tapping away on the different keys and there's the numbers and uh, caps everything that you'd find on a normal keyboard that um, they can use many of the kids actually prefer to use that on-screen keyboard for um, entering the text and the writing activities that uh, we do with them okay, this is nine pole which we also use to get the kids writing it's a free program where the kids have to write survey question and responses and then go around and collect votes from people uh, you just tap on the screen once someone has told you what response they want and a vote and nine poll actually brings up for you a compilation of all the results as you can see in this example and we'll even do a chart like this for you so with all those percentages of the graph there's all kinds of extra applications that I'm sure many teachers could envisage. Back to the home screen. Some of the other programs there. We're going to look at the calendar next, which is a good way to get students thinking about time and planning their days, which many of them need help with, obviously. That's when break one is at my school. This is just cycling now through some of the different views that you can have with the calendar weekly and monthly views. And back to the Palms home screen. Okay. We also use another free program called Quizler, which uh, has some great addition, multiplication, subtraction, and even some English grammar tests that it can do. We'll just open up the addition one, which many of my teacher aid tutors at my school are using with students. See, it keeps a track of a time there. It's one of the modes you can put it in and the students have to read the sum and try and tap in what the correct answer is all the, t all the while with the um, time of going of course provides a bit of a challenge and gives you a nice little flash screen when you get it correct here it is again coming up 4 plus 9 yeah it is 13 very good you can save the scores that the students make and um, compare them each week so they can see their improvements as they go. Okay, you can also use the Palm Z22 as a photo viewer. There's only a couple that come standard with the device itself, but you can sync them when you have it plugged into your home computer. So other photos that you've taken maybe around the school would be able to be viewed by the students on there and provide further stimulus for writing. There's also a calculator, of course, just to prove that it what a versatile device that it is. It's one you won't need to teach most of your students, hopefully. 
And another thing I'd mention is the beaming facility. Many programs have this as a as a menu option. It just enables you to use the infrared to point at another palm and beam whatever writing or even programs back and forth. Something the kids absolutely love. Here's some other quick pictures of our palms being used by students. And like I said, they've really taken to using the stylus. Works very well for them. Another couple of the guys. Just some quick little snippet from teaching them how to use it. And that's that. So, like I said, quick little overview of the Palm Z22 from an education perspective. Thanks for watching.